Hello, my name is Paul and I'll be going through some counting problems today and doing some recap as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started, but I encourage you to watch Emily's video um, a more intro to counting um, as well if you haven't seen that already. Okay, so as a quick overview, um, kind of the three main questions we have with counting are, are we repeating or not repeating? Are we, do we care about the order? or not care about order? Does order matter? And can we have things that are, we have things that are indistinguishable or distinguishable? So can I tell things apart? And so we'll deal with these uh, latter two questions today. So we'll be counting things that have, um, we, we know that they're, they're not repeating, but we have to think about, can we order them or, do we need to order them and can we distinguish between these things? So as a little warm up, let's consider we wanna have, we'll break up four players into two teams. And so we wanna say, how many ways can we do that? Um, and so maybe initially we think, okay, um, well, um, does the order matter between players? Like say if I had players A and B on one team and players C and D, does that look different than if I had say B and A and D and C? Uh, well, they're on the same team, so no, uh, the order doesn't matter here. And so we might think, oh, order doesn't matter, let's do combinations. And so maybe we say, okay, we um, have, well, we're choosing out of four possible players and we'll choose uh, two people for, the first team and then we have two players left so we'll choose two players for the second team um in other words like we'll have um this two choose two is one so we'll have just like four choose two um or four factorial or two factorial two factorial or um or we'll have like six players um or six possibilities for this um however we're kind of missing a subtlety here so um in this case, I'm not really choosing, like, I don't really have, say, like a, a Lions team and, and a Tigers team, or I don't really have two teams I can distinguish. I'm saying, okay, the teams look the same to me. I'm just having one kind of team I don't know the name, another team I don't know the name for. So I actually have to divide by two to be able to um, not overcount. So here, I, I don't care about the teams. Um, and so it ends up being uh, for choose two over two. Whereas if I'm saying, okay, like let's choose players for the Lions uh, versus the Tigers. Okay, um, here then I have, okay, um, I can consider, okay, then I, I first choose players for the Lions um, and then I choose them for the Tigers or like flip-flopped. Um, and so, yeah, then it becomes um, different if I'm having um, say, a and B and the Lions and C and D and the Tigers versus having um, C and D and the Lions and, and A and B and the Tigers. Uh, it looks looks different. And so, um, yeah, so that's, well, that's kind of one thing to be aware of here. So now let's kind of use this example and let's build on that. So we'll consider we're wanting, we have, um, this time we have 17 players. And we're wanting to say, okay, I'll have, um, we'll say we have, we have four teams and we know that we have like teams of, we have four, 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 and five. And so, yeah, thinking about this question, um, we might run into the same, the same situation where, okay, um, if I can't tell the teams apart, then say like this team versus this team um, a four, I can't, that doesn't matter to me. So I have to, I'll have to divide um, by all the number of ways I can order um, three teams. And that's uh, three factorial. I could, I could have um, kind of this idea of, yeah, like I'm trying to order three things. So I have three factorial. Um, so I have to divide by that certainly. Um, 
And now how do I choose the players? Um, a couple of ways to do this. One way is think about, okay, um, kind of like we did before, we start with 17 and I'll choose uh, four players for like the first team. And then I have 13 left. Then I'll choose four players for the next team. I'm left with nine, then 13 minus four. So I'll choose four players and I have um, five players left um, and I'll choose five for their remaining team. And then I'll divide all this by uh, three factorial. I also can think about it as, um, and this is a quantum equivalent concept. So say I have like, I'm gonna just like maybe order like all 17 players out in line. And then um, I'll say, well, I have to consider, okay, what if I had, um, I'll have to like divide out um, by four factorial, right? Because this, this is counting for like that first team. Um, because I don't really care about the order among the players of that team. And then I have to divide out for the second team because I also have some repeating things. It's kind of like the idea of repeating letters, but it's in this case, it's the players in the same team. And then I do the same thing for the third and then for the fourth. And then I can write this as um, the same notation as this like multinomial coefficient of the 17 um, and then four, 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 five. Um, and I have to, of course, divide by three factorial here um, to make sure I account for the idea of, okay, the teams, I, I can't tell these, these teams of four apart and there's three of them. So I have to order that um, to not overcount. And so um, you can do the algebra to, to see, okay, if I, if I multiply these things out, they end up being the same, same number here and they're equivalent concepts of, okay, I'll, I'll have 17, then I'll choose four, then I have 13, I choose four, as opposed to, I kind of choose 17 all at once. And then I will like choose these players more um, dividing them out individually. So let's say, what if, what if we actually did have teams? So let's say um, we and I'll take a hint from Wizard of Oz and we say, okay, we have like the lions, the tigers, the bears, and the, the oh my uh, team. And so we can say the oh my has, has five players. Um, and so in this case, um, if we kind of didn't change anything else, we can still tell the players apart uh, because um, yeah, different people are, our people are different. Um, and so then we, we end up with, um, we either have like this idea of 17, um, like the multinomial coefficient of four, 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 and five, or we can say, okay, um, 17 choose four, 13 choose four, nine choose four, five choose five. So I'm kind of choosing players for the teams and, and I can tell the difference between these uh, teams of four apart because they're, they're distinct. Um, so that's how, how that problem would change if we could tell the teams apart. But let's consider, what if we, we change the problem up in, in a more fundamental way? What if we say, okay, I can't tell the players apart, which doesn't really make sense. Let's instead of saying players, we'll say, um, let's say we're, we're making, these teams need to have marching bands, right? And for marching bands, we need to have, um, we need to have, have drums. And so we're saying, um, yeah, we, we're, we're giving, giving these uh, teams drums. And so we can't really tell the difference between one drum and another drum that would look the same to us, um, commodity items. So drums are um, indistinguishable. But the teams um, are distinguishable here. I can tell the difference between the lions, the tigers, the bears, and the omai. Okay, so then um, how does this change things? Okay, well this, um, I kind of, at first, this looks like a stars and bars thing, right? It's like, okay, um, I have like these four teams, um, those would kind of be, I can form my bars with them, right? It's like, I have these start boards broken up by these bars. And okay, I say here is like the lion's uh, board, the tiger's board, the bear's board and oh my board. And so um, it's kind of like, I'm just like, I can think about it as I'm, I'm throwing the drums onto these dartboards. And so wherever it lands, um, I like give the drums to the team. And so, um, yeah, then I can just kind of count up uh, like number of stars, number of bars. Um, and so I have, um, okay, I have 17 stars and I have uh, three bars dividing these teams. So then I can say I have um, stars plus bars, two stars, and that's equal to 17 plus three, choose three, which is um, equal to 20, choose three. And that's the same thing as 20, choose 17. 
Okay. Um, but that's I've I've gone wrong somewhere. Um, right? Because uh, at least teams I've actually said, well, no, the Lions. Um, here I'm allowing the Lions to have anywhere from zero up to 17 people. But I have I said the Lions have to be four. The Tigers also are four. The Bears are four, and the Omai are five. So if you recall, like the stars and bars, what is it solving? It's solving the, the answer to this question. We can say, okay, I have um, like some number of teams in the in the first, and I'm going to be called that instead of X. Uh, we'll say uh, team one, the players on team one plus the players on team two, plus the players on team three, plus the players on team four, and that's equal to 17 players is what I'm, I'm solving with this, um, this like 20, two, 17 or 22, three uh, with stars and bars. Cause I'm, I'm kind of randomly throwing these drums um, onto these like team dartboards. Like I'm throwing yeah them there. And then I'm kind of just saying, okay, whatever it ends up, like I'm, I have these stars and these bars. Um, but here, I, I, um, what I've done is I've, I basically, and I've said that I've, I know the team sizes. I'm not, I've actually already fixed my bar, my stars. I'm saying, okay, I, I know I have four stars for the Lions. I know I have four stars for the Tigers. I have um, five stars for the Oh My team. And so because I've already fixed that, I've, I've said, okay, well, I know that um, instead of having to count up all the possible T's, I know that, okay, I, I know that we have T1 is four, um, T2 is four, T3 is four and T4 is five. So I actually only have, well, I've already done, I've already, I, I only have one way to count this um, because I specified the sizes of things, which is kind of what the whole thing that, that's the only thing that varies really with stars and bars we're counting. So in this case, if I can tell the teams apart, um, but I can't tell the players apart or are having these drums I'm assigning, then I only have one way to count it. So we'll see you in the next video. Take care.